Hey, it's another episode of your daily scrum. Todd, a new day, a new show. How are you, buddy? I'm doing great today. Yeah, today's going to be a great day today. It is going to be a great day. Hopefully it's a great day for everybody that's listening. Yeah, we have a, a fresh question on this great day. Should a scrum team estimate defects? Mm -hmm. we, get a, we get this a lot um, in class, especially. People want to know, should we estimate the defects and do we get credit for the story points and which at which sprint should we put those story points in? And mm -hmm. we get into these long, long discussions about how do we get credit and who gets the points and should we estimate these things or not? Or should we just fix them and on and on and on and on? And uh, it usually goes down a weird path. Todd, I think you've got a pretty clear way of handling this. Yes. Uh, stop managing bugs. Yeah. Yeah. If you're if you're estimating bugs, that means you're managing bugs. And if you're managing bugs, that means you have a lot of them. So to me, this is a this is a smell, right? That something funky's going on. Uh, and uh, I think if you're starting to enter a conversation where you're needing to plan capacity for all the defects that you're expecting or that you're going to fix in a sprint, that you've got greater fish to fry than whether you estimate a bug or not, right? So universally, my answer is no, you don't estimate a bug because you don't get into a situation where you manage them. And if you're in a situation where you manage them, you manage your way out of managing them. I like this. And so, <laughs> you man and, and so let me add to this. You manage your way out of managing them, right? By managing your product backlog correctly. So there's yes. a lot of management here, right? We Maybe yeah. we need some consultants to come in and help us. But, uh, <laughs> but I, in all seriousness, where, what's the source of the bug? Where's the problem? Yeah. And start writing product backlog items that solve those problems. Let's mm -hmm. get to the root cause and stop these things from coming in. Uh, is there a hole in your definition of done that's mm -hmm. allowing these, these escaped defects to make it into the world? Get to the root cause of what's causing these defects. Start solve, put, you know what? Estimate those product backlog items that solve the root cause get those product backlog items implemented and then watch the defects disappear. Yeah. yeah. Right. Figure out the dark corners of your application and, you know, just stop managing bugs. I, I think that, uh, I think that maybe some people are going to be disappointed in the fact that we didn't answer this, but I, I guess we did answer it. Don't, don't estimate them because you're managing them then. Yeah. Just yeah. Uh, solve the issues. Like if there's bugs you need to do, then take care of them. Stop worrying about which sprint and who gets credit for velocity. If velocity uh, like if you're worried about credit, then someone's managing to a particular velocity. And that's a whole other anti pattern that we'll cover in another video. Right. Because okay. that's even that's an even that's a that's a big mistake as well. Now you're managing bugs and you're managing to velocity. That's the double management whammy. We all want to avoid no whammies. Right. Yeah. No whammies. <laughs> no whammies. Like you're hitting the button. Right. You know, I'm also to put that in in Kanban in the Kanban world, too. You know, we get asked the question as to whether you include uh, the um, the cycle time of a defect in your um, in in when you, when you're doing an SLE calculation, right? Whether you're when you're coming up with a probabilistic forecast for a service level expectation, I, I, I still feel the same way. You're 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 managing a bug, right? Like I, I um, yeah, I still feel I, I still feel the same way. So we're still probably going to see. Uh, it's interesting you shifted over to Kanban just real quick. That that work item is still going to shift and go through our system, mm -hmm. right? But uh, it's one of those where you kind of feel bad about that one going through. Mm -hmm. it's like, why is it in there? And so, yeah. like we said, we'd rather you get to the root cause. We'd rather you use a nine whys, use an excellent liberating structure to facilitate a great conversation, help your team get to the root, create product backlog items that solve the root issue, mm -hmm. and get those. talk to the product owner, get those negotiated higher up in the order, and get those things smashed. Yeah. We smash bugs just like we smash like buttons. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. We smash bugs like like buttons. Yeah. So, and uh, I like your point too to seal the deal on it. Right. Um, figure out the dark corners of your application um, where these are coming from and and fix it. Awesome. No, we appreciate these questions. We love seeing these questions pop up on the YouTube. We enjoy seeing them on Twitter. You know, we even get emails from some of you. Uh, we love it all. So keep the questions coming. We love answering them. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button just like we smash bugs so that you know when the next video is coming out. We release frequently. We've got fixing your Kanban, fixing your Scrum, your daily Scrum, Craft Root Agile, Agile for Humans, the core uh, flagship podcast that started it all. 
Videos are coming fast and furious these days, and we want to make sure you catch all of them. There's also some links and videos below for you to keep going. If you want to get stuck in a YouTube wormhole for the next hour, we're going to make it easy. And so <laughs> hopefully you get some good value out of that. And uh, you know what? That's today is your daily scrum. We'll probably see you yeah. tomorrow. So let us know what you think. Leave us those comments below. Cheers.